By now, it should be no secret. We have a plastic problem. The miracle material essential to our daily lives now threatens our planet, polluting our oceans and releasing harmful emissions. From production to disposal, the plastic life cycle annually emits greenhouse gases equal to more than that of 184 million cars, dangerously adding to the climate crisis. We're in a bad condition right now. We have to go in the other direction. For Mark Harama and the team at New Light Technologies, that meant figuring out how to use greenhouse gases as a resource. The answer already existed in nature. If you think about it, greenhouse gas is the basis of life. Nature's gobbling up greenhouse gas every day. What we found early on is that there are natural microorganisms in the ocean that consume greenhouse gas as their food source. What they discovered was that with these organisms, they could create a safe plastic alternative and at the same time, remove harmful carbon emissions from the atmosphere. For over a decade, they've been developing a way to do that at scale. This is their first commercial production plant. This is the one of the most beautiful things that I could look at. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, explain to me this, in your words, beautiful thing we're looking at here. Here's why it's beautiful. This is basically what happens in the ocean recreated on land. These large tanks are full of salt water and microorganisms found in the ocean. When the organisms are fed greenhouse gases like methane and CO2, they naturally produce a biopolymer. We have this pure white powder that we can then melt and form into all kinds of parts and pieces. The company calls it air carbon, which, like plastic, can be molded into a variety of products, from furniture to packaging, or products like straws and cutlery. This straw, as an example, reduces the amount of carbon in the air by 30 grams. Now, by itself, it's not a lot. But imagine companies that are using hundreds of millions of straws a year. We're talking about tens of thousands of tons of CO2e that would otherwise be in the air, now destroyed or sequestered. And because air carbon is natural, it degrades in the ocean in about a year. Plastic? It can take hundreds of years. It kind of solves two problems, both the plastic pollution problem and also climate change. To introduce air carbon to the world, New Light is launching direct-to-consumer brands in foodwear and in fashion, an industry which is responsible for 10% of global carbon emissions. What do you think it's going to take for plastic alternatives like air carbon to make a dent? In order to really make the kind of impact that we want to make, we've spent a lot of time working to bring something to the market that people can afford. We make premium products that are designed to go out in very, very large scale and compete head on with the incumbents that are out there in the world today. We're making them available both on a direct to consumer basis, but we are also working very heavily on the, on the B2B side. In all, New Light says that the products made at its first commercial plant takes the CO2 equivalent of 6,000 cars off the road. A small start. This is my wallet. I'm holding something that represents carbon that would have otherwise gone into the air. Imagine if all the products that we made when we made them, like growing a tree leaf, actually improved the world. Whether it's decarbonizing or going carbon negative, I think that's what the world needs to start to look towards.